going out to lunch today. Saw a lot of mm -hmm. folks eating outside, enjoying the warmer temperatures. You could do that today. You can. You know, and we had that sun peak out a little bit, but we still got that cloud cover, and there's a reason for that, right, David? That's right, guys. Out ahead of our next storm, but uh, you have one more day to enjoy this great weather, and then the bottom's going to fall out as we get a little bit of some Arctic air. It's going to get cold around here again, so hang on. 69 degrees in Oklahoma City. Look it out. Down I-40, here we go on a Tuesday afternoon. A nice shot there from our Lucky Star Skycam Network. That's our Mathis Brothers cam. Looking good, our humidity, 38%. Dew points have come up a little bit more, low 40s now. By the time we get up in the morning, dew points will be in the upper 50s and low 60s, so the moisture is really going to make a surge overnight tonight. We have 60s across the north and the northeast, 69 in Oklahoma City. Look at southern Oklahoma today. More sunshine down here, a lot warmer, low 80s going on. 83 now in Ardmore, 80 in Altus, 82 in Hollis. So, man, it is good. And the wind, it was crazy earlier. The winds have come down a notch in the panhandle. Still gust over 40. Western Oklahoma, yep, a few gusts down here to right at 40 down in Hollis. So it's windy. Get ready. A lot of wind coming up tomorrow. So here's what's happening. Cold air, the Arctic air is to the north of us. We have energy coming out of the southwest. There goes a piece of energy there. Major winter storm, and it's a long large storm system running from the west coast ball of energy there there's one there there's one there so this is all going to be winter weather to our north and west we will get the cold out of this but no winter weather for us but man here comes the cold and our upper storm is back to the southwest again over baja and arizona new mexico that comes out tonight folks it's only six in bismarck so there's your arctic air and as you get south of the front sure a lot warmer look at the 80s across texas and southern oklahoma but the cold air will win out it will be cold for a couple of days. Now this evening, pretty quiet, mild, breezy. The wind will pick up this evening out ahead of our storm system. The moisture increases late tonight, just not a whole lot of instability. So what you get is you get storms that can spin. At least a couple of, the, of these storms will spin. The main threat is going to be some wind, a little bit of hail, lightning and thunder. And there might be a spin up or two or a weak, brief tornado along this line, right? We talk about this sometimes late night, early morning events when your instability is a little bit lower. So we'll be talking about this overnight tonight and uh, we'll be tracking this. Trackers will be out overnight watching this line. And then by six o'clock in the morning, it's ending in Oklahoma City and it is moving east. And by noon, it's out of the entire state. So these storms are gonna be moving this whole line at about 55 to 60 miles per hour. And the deal is because it's moving so fast, rain amounts are gonna be very light or low. Tenth of an inch, might see a quarter of an inch in Oklahoma City for lucky. Higher amounts of rain will be off into eastern Oklahoma. So not a whole lot of rain out of this. All right, so lows tonight, mid to upper 50s, low 60s. These are your temperatures at about 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. We will spend much of the night in Oklahoma City with lows in the 60s. Okay, the wind cranks up this evening a little bit. It'll be windy overnight tonight. Now, overnight, showers and thunderstorms start in the southwest after midnight. They'll rocket and increase north and east overnight tonight, coming in Oklahoma City between 3 o'clock and about 6 o'clock in the morning. A little bit of thunder, a little bit of lightning, might have a little wind, might have a little hail. And then by tomorrow morning, everything is east of I-35. Everything in eastern Oklahoma will end, come to an end by noon. These things are moving out of here, taking the severe weather threat with it. And we are dry and windy behind that front, behind the dry line, actually. So overnight tonight through tomorrow morning, uh, talking about northeastern, central, southwestern Oklahoma. That's the western edge of the threat of some severe weather. The main threat is going to be some wind and hail with a low or a very isolated tornado threat. There's my tornado zone. Oklahoma City's nearly out of it. I think you got to get just barely south and east of us. But even down in this area, the tornado threat is still low. Okay, it's not zero, but it's still low. All right, okay, so we'll be tracking it though. And then overnight tonight, the wind. Yeah, 55, maybe a 65 mile per hour wind gust here as we get into the green. As these storms come through Oklahoma City and get to our east and southeast, they get stronger and the hail sizes get a little bit larger. But overall, the hail sizes are going to be pretty small, but still could see some quarters in there. Highs tomorrow in the 70s, south winds to a southwest wind will blow behind the dry line, 20 to 40 miles per hour. Gust of 50 in the west, gust to over 60 in the panhandle. So my fire threat zone tomorrow will be high to extreme across the west. So keep that in mind. And again, gusts of 65 in the panhandle tomorrow. And that'll be the place to really watch out for. And especially, again, western Oklahoma, where you haven't had much moisture at all the last couple of weeks. All right, so look at Thursday. Here's your Arctic air, 30s and 40s. So, yeah, your Thursday will be cold. 
Friday still chilly, still cold. The clouds roll in. Might have a couple of showers on Friday or some drizzle. A little bit better chance for showers Saturday. High of 52. Won't feel like that because you know, the cloud cover rolling in here. And then here comes storm number two. Strong storm. Dynamics in place for late Sunday, Sunday evening, Sunday night for a wave of rain and storms and some severe weather. We stay mild. Third storm next Thursday or Friday of next week and the possibility of more severe weather. So we have jumped right into springtime.